Good morning, you guys. So, <laughs> I'm tired today. This whole wake it up early thing isn't working for me. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I just brought Dominic to work. And the other issue with bringing him to work is that he keeps forgetting food. So every day he's like, oh, I forgot my, my breakfast. And then I'm like, okay. And he knows I'm going to Dunkin'. So he's like, will you bring me Dunkin'? And of course I have to bring him Dunkin'. But I wasn't thinking about going to Dunkin' today. I might end up, I'm not gonna lie. But I was gonna go to Wendy's instead. So I'm gonna pick him up some Wendy's. But it's just, I wanted to go home and sleep. <laughs> but I also know I was, <sighs> I was probably gonna go get food. Anyway, so it's the right thing to do to drive to get him food because it's only eight minutes away to get food and then come back. So that'll be, you know, 20 minutes. It really doesn't take that much out of my day. And he's, he gets so excited and appreciates it so much. But I'm just like, how did you forget your banana? And also, how is a banana sufficient breakfast compared to like a regular breakfast? The other day, he didn't even have me bring him breakfast. He just wanted coffee. So I brought him coffee from Duncan and then he hated it. That's why I don't like bringing him stuff because he enjoyed, he like liked that I brought it to him, but he was like that, Dun he texted me and said the Duncan was gross. Of course it was gross. I'm only, I'm not, you know, a speed demon door dasher. It, the ice melts by the time I get to you. I cannot control this. If you want it to be good, you need hot coffee. Anyway, I'm gonna do that for him this morning, but I have so much Christmas stuff I wanna decorate today. So I have big plans on that. Last night, I watched some of my um, Vlogmas content from last year. You guys should check it out. I, it's just so funny to look back on the year before and see how different things are but well also not really being that different but it just feels like a year ago was forever ago now i can't believe that like in the first video i was telling you guys about jazzy with the whip guy in 2021 i feel like jazzy with the whip guy has been around since at least 2020 but apparently 2021 that's crazy or maybe i just hadn't told you guys about him but in the video i said about two months ago he started saying jazzy with the whip and i'm like wow i feel like jazzy with the whip guy's been around forever like i don't remember a time without jazzy with the whip guy <laughs> but i guess he hasn't so that was pretty crazy to hear in my vlogmas also i still have to work on my <laughs> my intro which is actually what i'm gonna have to do today because i only have like two more days left to figure out my intro for everything and get that all figured out. And then I might actually post during Vlogmas. I recorded a video before, I don't know if I will, cause I feel like it takes away from Vlogmas a little bit, but I recorded a video before Dominic and I went on our elopement. It's like the last minute things. And like I recorded it throughout like different last minute things that I did before we eloped. And I kind of want to post that. I know I'm going to film a video to show you guys all of the, um different bridesmaid stuff that i got because i want to do like a bridesmaid box video um and i'm so excited for you guys to see all that so i have to film that too i actually have so much to do <laughs> i'm thinking of it what am i doing sitting here <laughs> i'm gonna go now and get dominic a sandwich and then i'll check in with you guys um a little bit later today when we are doing other things probably hopefully decorating for christmas but like i said i do have a lot of vlogmas stuff to do too well, that is vlogmas stuff, but I don't know. I'm too tired to think about my plan right now. We'll talk later. <laughs> you guys, I just looked at that footage that I just recorded, and I've decided I need to be better. <laughs> I need to look in the mirror before I record a video in the morning, specifically, because I always have dry skin here in the morning, probably from drooling or something disgusting. But I, every morning, literally the last couple mornings when I edited the videos, I noticed I had dry skin right here, and I need to be better about like wetting it. Because literally, I just wet that dry skin, and now it doesn't look like I have toothpaste on my face. But I promise I'm not like gross or anything. It's literally just too early. It's too early, you guys. I cannot control this. It's 7 a.m. now. My mom actually, I need to talk to you more apparently. <laughs> my mom yesterday when I called her. Okay, sorry you guys. I had to flip my camera around because um, it wouldn't, 
it turned the camera right off because <laughs> I hit the button with my stand. But anyway, yesterday when I called my mom, for me, it was 6.38, which was when I dropped Dominic off. Why didn't I drop him off so early yesterday? Anyway, for me, it was that time. And for my mom, it was 5.38. <laughs> so she didn't answer, obviously. And then yesterday, she gave me a whole dis uh, rotation. Is that a disputation? Disputation? Whatever that word is. About how... Dissertation? That's what it is. About how I am trying to call her at 5.30 in the morning and that's too early. What What am I doing with my life? I need to I need to consider the fact that it's 5.30 in the morning for her. I said, you know, mom, <laughs> you should feel very special that I want to talk to you at 5.30 in the morning. Like, I want to spend my time with you first thing in the morning. That's just what I want to do. And she didn't, and she didn't bite on that. She said, well, it needs to not be 5.30 in the morning if you're gonna have calling me first thing in the morning which I can understand however I like to be put in a good mood so now I've decided I'm just gonna talk to you guys immediately first thing in the morning because I need that in the morning I need to be put in a good mood and I can't be driving by myself I need to have somebody to talk to you so I guess I'll put a podcast on today but it's already seven I might be able to call her I don't know because <laughs> it's six o'clock there and she told me she used to have my um like phone number set up so that it would ring no matter what time of day for her like just in case anything happened and she had to turn that off because I've been calling her at 5 30 in the morning so I need to be better I know I do <laughs> but it's just hard when I have to drive at this time I want her to drive with me but I do understand 5 30 is a little bit early and she goes <laughs> she's like how would you feel if you're laying in bed fast asleep on your day off not even your day off even if you have to work and you and I, you got a call from me at 5.30 in the morning. Would you answer? And you know what? We all know that I would not be answering that phone call. Unless, well, I would because I think something was wrong. So I think I get it. I get it, okay? Anyway, I'm going now. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, you guys. So I did not end up... Well, that's not true, actually. I ended up going to Wendy's and I pulled through the drive through and the lady said there was something going on in the building that, like, they weren't able to cook the breakfast or something. Or maybe she said, like, they weren't... They hadn't started breakfast or something. I don't know, but it was 7.30. Actually, I'm gonna look that up if when, when Wendy's does their breakfast because, let's see, Wendy's breakfast hours maybe I got there early because I sat there for a while no they open at 6 30 I don't know I went through the line and I said I placed my order online so I don't know what to do and she said I could cancel it so I canceled it hopefully I get my money back because I had like already paid for it but I didn't end up doing that then I you guys know I ended up going to Dunkin anyway <laughs> so I went to Dunkin and then I decided to put makeup on today because last night when I watched the videos from last year I had makeup on my first couple ones and I was like I feel really good when I put makeup on so I put makeup on and now I'm waiting for Elena to call because we're supposed to have a chat today for about an hour I know I just talked to her yesterday <laughs> but honestly I was in I was like parked in a weird spot where I didn't have very good service so we just said okay we'll just talk tomorrow so we're going to talk and I'm going to set the Christmas tree up because we are getting a real tree this year. So I was waiting to set the Christmas tree up because I didn't know what was going on with the real tree, how long that was going to take. So, uh, or like how, not even how long that was going to take, but they hadn't had the Christmas tree set up until today. They just put the Christmas trees up this morning at the place that we're going to get one from. So I was like, okay, this is amazing. Now I can set the other tree. Tree up. The other tree I'm going to put in my office. So I figured I'll bring you guys along to set the like snowy tree up. This is going to be our first time getting a real Christmas tree. So I think that'll be really, really fun this year. We're kind of nervous about it because we don't really know how to take care of a real Christmas tree. And we're worried it will like die before Christmas. <laughs> but the, the way I feel about it is we're going to have that second tree up anyway. So if the tree by chance does die before Christmas, we can always pull the fake tree out there because it's going to be in my office anyway. But I'm super excited to have a tree in my office. I'm excited to have two trees because we've never had that either. So that is what I'm going to do now while I wait for Elena to call and then um, hopefully I'll be able to talk to her on the phone for a little bit while I'm setting the tree up. I don't know how, how like, fun that's going to be <laughs> because I'm going to be messing around with all the shit, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to do that now, though. <laughs> Okay, you guys, 
that did not go as planned. <laughs> I actually wasn't even able to do the tree while I was out with Elena because Sunday ended up being a walk. So I brought her for a walk and now the things we do for these animals. <laughs> now I have to retake this box up because they like busted through this box. If you guys remember, I had the boxes all set up for the animals to like sit uh, up against the window and Sunday, <laughs> and Sunday's been struggling because I took the boxes down thinking, I mean, it don't, won't be a big deal. She used to hop up just fine onto her little perch near the window and now she can't do it. She decided it's like impossible. So I, w I brought the cat's stairs in here and tried to get her to use them, but then obviously Keaton didn't have her stairs then. So I'm like, I'm just putting the box back. There's no reason. I did feel like I had so much more room in here without the boxes up against the window but they want them up and I mean what who am I trying to impress really without them up I just thought it might give a more cozy vibe without it but there's nothing we can do so I'm gonna take the boxes up now um or at least one of them to use as like a little stair for Sunday um and Keaton. I mean, it was both of them. Both of them were like pissed that they couldn't get up onto this thing by themselves. I'm like, you guys do have mobility. You know that, right? <laughs> you are able to jump. I don't, I don't really know. They both decided that they are no longer capable of doing that. It's kind of like when someone, well, like when you do things more and more for someone, like they forget that they could do it themselves. And like, then sometimes people take advantage of that. Oh, shit, you guys. <laughs> Okay, sorry you guys, I don't know why that thing this see she just did it. She literally just did it. I wish that you guys would have seen that. She hopped right up onto the thing and she's looking at me now like, yeah, I know I can do it, but hopefully you didn't see. Because I know she can do it. If there's noise out there, she'll do it just fine. But she likes to have just a little, you know, a little stairway up. Uh she likes to handicap herself, honestly, by being that way because she can do it herself and like her muscles now are not getting used just like like my muscles weren't getting used when I had my ankle sprain. Anyway, that's a tangent that doesn't really matter at the end of the day because either way, we all know I baby these children and I'm going to build this box for them <laughs> whether uh, they can jump up or not. I need scissors though, so I'll be right back. Okay, so anyway, I decided to open the vlogging camera though anyway because I really want to um, still put the tree up. So I'm gonna do that after I set this box up for Sunday and then um and then it'll be up so I won't have to worry about it tomorrow. Dominic and I were actually did I tell you this already? We were gonna go pick up our real tree tonight. But then it was such a mess in the house, you guys. I made such a mess of the house today because after I went with Elena went with Elena. <laughs> I went on my walk and talked to Elena. I came back and decided to film some hauls. I don't know why. And so I filmed a couple of hauls and so I just, it's a mess in here. So I'm going to um, set the tree up tonight and then I'm going to get everything cleaned up out there so that tomorrow, hopefully, well, probably not tomorrow, maybe the next day, we'll go pick up our trees because Dominic works tomorrow. So maybe we'll pick it up tomorrow, but I don't know if we will. So, um... But we'll go pick our tree up soon, and then we'll be able to set our tree up out there. Because I feel like we're late this year on the tree. Every single year, I feel like we're later. Yeah, look at this. This is not going to work. This is a whole shit show up in here. I usually, like, stuff a... I'm going to... That's what I'm going to do. I'll stuff a blanket inside. So if it does fall through, it won't be that big of a deal for them. Because my babies be heavy, you guys. Every single one of them just fall right through the cracks. And then this box gets all bent out of shape. This is as good as we're getting today, Sunday. So if you need me to fix it at all, I'll do it another day. But I have other things to do today, okay, kiddo? All right, so let's move that. Put this down here for her. Here, let me show you guys what I mean by all of this. Okay, so you see, you see where the struggle is. Baby Keaton is having that struggle right now as well. But once I put this box down right here, they can jump on the box and then they can jump up. I'll actually move this over a little bit so that we can, because the other thing is, is that Keaton actually likes to sleep down on the bottom and then Sunday up top. So 
that's what we'll do. I'll cover that with a blanket, a Christmas blanket probably, and then we'll call it a day. Or maybe not a Christmas blanket. Maybe I'll use a regular blanket for that because I like the Christmas blankets in the living room. Okay, so it doesn't look the best, but she's already getting excited about the fact that she can get up there. So that'll be good for them. They'll be happy. Hi, baby. Hi, my sweet girl. Um, and then I'm going to work on the tree now with you guys. So let's just do that and get it out of the way. All right, kiddo. I'm going to set up that whole thing for you. And now you just want to sit in the chair. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, i got to find somewhere for this exercise bike, by the way. Because we got this exercise bike forever ago. And we used it a couple of times. <laughs> like, literally probably two times. And now it just sits around in our house. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hello, you guys. So I just took a shower after setting the tree up and I'm going to decorate it hopefully tomorrow at some point. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I end up, but I really want to decorate it or at least I want to do like either that one or my smaller tree. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do the bigger tree because I feel like I have too many ornaments, but I want to do Taylor Swift themed, um, which if you guys remember last year, Lindy sent me a bunch of ornaments that she made that have like all the Taylor Swift albums on them so that's really exciting so I want to do like a Taylor Swift theme in my office but speaking of that I got this package in the mail today so I want to open it with you guys let's see I need something I need something sharp okay sorry you guys I definitely needed um a knife for this occasion so I'm gonna rip into this box here and see what we got. I don't know if they sent me everything that I ordered in this box or if it's just one thing. And the one thing that I ordered, I'm so excited for for Christmas time. Let's see here. So we got some stars, midnight color stars. Um, and then this is really a pretty box actually that they gave. Okay. Oh, they did. They gave me everything. Okay, cool. So I ordered the Midnight's album because I didn't have it already. <laughs> I haven't ordered one yet. I think I made a huge mistake though because I ordered the basic version and not the deluxe version, but it is what it is. And then I also ordered a whatever this is, a calendar for next year. It's a 2023 calendar and it's got all of these different pictures on it. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'm surprised all of this came so quickly. I feel like I did not order it that long ago and usually her merch and stuff like, I mean, maybe it's because it's not merch. It's not like an outfit or like a, you know, the clothing usually takes a long time to get, but this is a box that the snow globe came in. So I ordered the all too well snow globe. I'm so pumped about it. I love snow globes. I'm like absolutely obsessed with them. So it was kind of a big purchase. It was a very expensive snow globe. I'm not going to lie. I think it was like $50. 
years. But I didn't get the snow globe that she had last time. I think it was the Christmas tree farm snow globe. And I will regret that the rest of my life because I loved that snow globe. And then on top of it, like people are selling it now for literally like $10,000. It's actually insane. I'm sure nobody's actually buying it, but I've seen it listed for that price. I'm like, oh, there's no way I'm ever getting that. But then this came available. So I said, this is even better, honestly, because I love all too well. And that is the snow globe that I got. This is so pretty though. I'm shocked by how pretty the box is. Okay. So then why does this look hairy? <laughs> Do you guys see this? It actually looks really dis deeply disturbing. It's like, it looks like there's a bunch of hairs all over it, like cat hairs or something. Maybe it's glue. That's very odd. Not a huge fan of that, but oh, my snow globe. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty. Okay, so I was a little nervous. <laughs> when I ordered it that it was gonna look cheap in person but in person it actually looks I think it plays music it either plays music or it lights up there's a thing to put batteries in it we're putting batteries in it right now you guys hopefully I have I need three I think I only have two let's see just we're just gonna remove them from my remote no no I need I need triple A's I don't have triple A's in my home okay well, we're going to have to wait then, but I wonder if it plays all too well. I had no idea it played music. That is really cool if it does. I guess we'll have to try that another day, unfortunately. So, we'll try that another day, but that's a pleasant surprise. I don't know why I didn't think it would play music. Like, it, it makes sense it would, but I just didn't realize that it would. Or maybe it lights up. I feel like maybe, no, it's got to play music. It doesn't look like it lights up at all. But it's so pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I love it. So this is going to go in my office with my, uh, like all of my Taylor Swift stuff that Lindy made me. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go put that on my desk now. Um, and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired. We've been going to bed so early, you guys know, because we've been getting up early. So, um, we've had to go to bed early, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow.